Okay, folks, so the day continues at CES 2013. Today we're at the Mirage Hotel, we're with Boo, who is from the lovely company of Rosewood. You guys are familiar with them, we do all kinds of work with them. And this year, they have a couple of great new products that they want to introduce to you. So I'm gonna hand the floor over to Mr. Boo and let him talk about some of their new shiznick here at Rosewell. All right, this is our popular and very focused item this year. This is the Throne Full Tower. It'll come in black and white. The black will come with red LEDs down the bottom. The white version will come with blue. This door will open left to right, but it is adjustable. If you install the hinge onto this side, you can have it open from right to left as well. There's a button down here to allow you to turn on and off the LED fans up the front. There's a reset button right on top of here under this corner. You might not be able to see that under that angle. Right up here on top, folks. See that there little button right there? All right, and we do have also introduced a hard drive dock on the very top panel as well. It will support three and a half and two and a half inch as well. Uh, we have this shark fin uh, panel up here to allow more airflow and for a more aggressive look. You can also close it down to prevent dust from getting to your uh, top panel of your case. And then you just pop it open again to have like airflow. That. I like it up myself. It's much more aggressive. Now, what about these two things off to the side of the sliders? Here? What are these two things for, Boom? Those are fan controllers. It so these control the fans in the front and the back? All the, fan, all the case fans inside the case. And so all the wiring, everything's internal, you just took it up and go, right? That's right. How is like some of the stuff like, I know my like, guys really like about cable management. Like how back here in the back side and stuff of the, of the case, do you have good cable management? I know that when we took a look at one of your larger cases, the Blackhawk Ultra had amazing cable mm -hmm. management on it. Does this have those same type of features in it as well? Yes, they will. We have up to maybe, I believe, nine grommeted uh, routing cables, and I believe an additional four more. So you'll have plenty to choose from to route your cables. Now, what about motherboards? This is a very large case. What, will this fit like the EVGA SRX motherboard? Does it fit that size of motherboard? Up to EATX. Up to EATX, okay. Now, this is one product. You also have another one that came out called the Armor as well, right? That's yes, another we new do. case. Mm -hmm. Now, we have that one right down here, folks. This is another new case from theirs. This is the Armor Evolution. So what do we got going on with this one, Boom? This is the first mid tower that we have that, that can support ETX with USB 3.0 on the front as well. It'll come with uh, red LED lights in the front with two 120s, uh, two in the top, 230 on the side, one in the rear. And what's the price on this one? MSRP is $119.99 and it's currently available on Newegg.com. And then what about the throne? Let's just pop back that one. How much is the throne? Uh, we're, it hasn't been released yet, so we're just still deciding on it, but it would be very similarly structured towards the Thor V2. Yeah. Okay. We're looking at around $169, 179 Excellent. So another product that they're releasing, they've had before on the market, is a infrared thermometer. So basically, you shine the little light beam out there, right out to you guys out there in the audience, you guys can see that, and it measures heat. Now they've had a couple models, this particular one that's been on the market, right Boo? Yes, that's right. The MSP for that one is about $79.99. Now they have two more of them. This one right here, and then the dual beam one, which is this one in my hand. So we got dual beam here, single beam here, and this one also has a detachable flashlight, is that correct? That's correct, LED flashlight. When you pull that trigger, both will come on. So that's cool stuff. Over here now, is this product right here? I know you guys had the five bay rain enclosure. Mm -hmm. That's this one right here, but now you guys also have an eight bay as well, correct? Eight bay was introduced before, but we're introducing an updated model for both, five bay and eight bay. This one will come with USB 3.0 as well as eSATA. Yeah, and it'll support the three terabyte hard drive per tray. So the five bay will have a total of 15 terabytes, but eight bay you have 24 terabytes. Excellent. So now folks, let's move across the room. We're gonna do solar, security, and keyboards. So let's go. All right, folks, so now we're moving across the room and we have security systems. Now, you guys might not know this, but Rosewell makes all kinds of products from kitchenware to solar lighting to bags for our camera, which we're carrying around. Just an amazing amount of products, even beyond the PC spectrum. Now, this is a really cool one that we're actually going to integrate in our home very soon. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. We have now a 4, 8, and 16 model. And we'll hand the floor over to Boo so he can tell you some of the special features about these units. So Boo, what's great about these things, man? Well, the 8 channel is currently available right now. It'll have two models, one with the CCD camera and one with CMOS. Of course, CMOS will have lower quality uh, images, but they will be very affordable. The 4 channel and the 16 channel will be introduced soon into the market. And they will both all support a uh, 3.5 inch internal SATA hard drive up to 2 terabytes. And for backup purposes, it'll support an external hard drive enclosure via USB to allow to support and uh, back up your videos. And it will also, also support an RJ45 uh, Ethernet port 
so you can log in and watch your videos and back them up onto your desktop. What if you want to do like off-site storage of your films? Does it have that availability as well? Would you be able to hook these up to a system and maybe like store your stuff like off-site instead of being at your home? You will be able to log in uh, via the network and record your videos onto your desktop from there. Okay. So good stuff. And what are some of the prices on these things? I know they're not totally out, but what are some of the ballpark prices on these units? So when people ask, they'll know what they are. For the 8-channel right now, they're around $249.99. For the 4 and 16, uh, those have not been discussed yet, but All hopefully right. once we have that, we'll share that with you. Okay. Now, since we have these back here anyways, I haven't seen these, but I know that this is one of the things that I've got here. This is the wireless internet IP camera. That's correct. This is part of our surveillance plan as well. For those of you who don't want wiring around your entire home, we also have a wireless version, both in uh, night vision and daytime. This one here will incorporate five LEDs, so you can see and capture nighttime videos, and it will also support motion sensing as well. So once it detects its motion, it can either record a video or snap a picture and send it to your email. Now, these are indoor and outdoor as well, though? That's correct. Okay. Now let's move across over here to some of the solar stuff, which if you guys have been following the channel, you guys see that we actually installed these systems at our house. So, gonna move over here. You guys saw these, so I'm not gonna go too much on this. I know you guys have already seen these on our last video, but these things are all very well priced. You've got security for either your garage, your front door, a place where there's no lights. Solar lighting, they're like Christmas lights. You can use them be like Christmas or just for decorative in your house. And these yard lights are excellent. They're great for gardenings or in the walkways. So do you know, Boo, do you guys plan on expanding this line and doing like a lot more products like this as far as being solar powered? Because I really think these are cool. All my neighbors have come by and made compliments about my yard since I put this stuff up. These are very, very, very selling, selling very well on our new egg website. And solar would be something that Rosa will be considering on expanding uh, in the near future. Right on. Well, now let's go over here to the keyboard because when we did the demo at my house, for some reason, we weren't able to get the colored keys, but I see that now we do have, like we promised, the colored keyboard. So can you give us a demo of the new dual lit keyboard series here, sir? Sure. All these keys are individually lit. There will be two LEDs on the back. You can see we've removed one of the keys. This is the Cherry MX Blue switch. You can see the red LED there. I'm going to go ahead and switch that over to green so you can see that. I'm going to go ahead and switch that off so you can have a better uh, image of the blue switch on there. And of course, we can control the independent colors for the WASD and the four arrows. So right now, they're both green. I'm going to switch them over to, to red. And it'll support up to five backlighting modes. Right now, I'm going to go ahead and switch that over. This is the, this is the breathing mode. Where we're going from the lowest to the highest and back down. And switch it to the lowest setting there. Medium brightness. And this would be the maximum brightness. And you can also just go ahead and just switch them off. So right now it's, it's two colors, right? Boo, it's, it's the right. green and the red. Green and the red. And we'll also incorporate a feature where you can lock a Windows key so you can do not actuate them when you're playing a game. So right now, since the back lighting is off, when I activate it, it'll flash red three times to let you know that the Windows key had been disengaged. So when you press it, it will not activate. Take you out of your game and screw you up. Right. Which has happened to me plenty of times. And you go ahead and switch it back on, it'll flash green three times, three times to let you know that it's, it is on again. And if you have the backlight keys on and you do disable that, the key would just be not be backlit. Nothing worse than being in Battlefield 3 <laughs> and getting kicked out of your game. <laughs> and it does support 12 and key roller, so more than your 10 digits can handle. Oh, excellent. And then we see right here, folks, we have the white version of the new throne right here. You guys can see it's got the blue lights all through the front of it and everything. Yep, and you have that button there. Once you push this guy here, it'll turn out that light for a more stealth appeal. Rose port to 10 hard drives, uh, solid states. Two and a half inches or three and a half inch standard desktop hard drives, ten add-on as well, and a tool list of kits for the five and a quarter. And you guys can see they got their Hercules 1600 watt power supply down there, which right. will power a tank. <laughs> or your home. Or your home. <laughs> for those of you who you know run out of rabbit food or hamsters on a trail, this will work much better. Yeah, it'll support up to 16 SATA connectors and up to 16 six plus two power connectors for your quad SLI and a dual core processor motherboard. So it's definitely for your ultimate gaming machine if you want to build one. Right on. All right, folks, so you guys see it. Rosewell 2013 coming out with all kinds of great prices and great products for you folks out there. It's been great being here with Boo. We'll see you guys back here on Tech Tomorrow when we get back into town. Boo, thank you very much for your time, sir. Pleasure. You have a great show, brother. You too. All right, man. See you folks later.